How's it going, guys? We're here at uh, my buddy Joe's house. He's got a lot of cool toys, you can see there. Uh, anyhow, I'm here to uh, take some parts off of his park truck. So, I'm going to go up here and uh, hit up his parts LMTV. Get the part we need. And uh, head back home. So, he says, he says the parts truck is up here somewhere so I'm gonna have to look for it. it says it's up by the house I would think that this is the parts truck so let's see if I can find the parts that I'm after oh Oh, it doesn't look like he has it. Looks like it's gone. Just got off the phone with Joe, and he told me to take it off of this one. So, this one's got the ticket right there. You see it? Oh, yeah, buddy. So, I'm going to get that off of there. It's hard to imagine that just this little switch can disable your CTIS system from working. One other thing you got to remember when you come out to Joe's place is that if you want to come back, you have to hide treasure bags in conspicuous areas. So take the treasure bags and you put them in the truck and you just kind of hide the gloves on top of it like that. Joe likes it when you leave treasure bags for him. All right, going to pack up the tools and head back home. <clears throat> well, so let's see if this is going to fix it. It's going to be kind of hard to get it off of here because the box is in the way, but I'm going to do my best. Well, the old one didn't fare so well when I tried to remove it. It kind of just fell apart. I'm wondering if it was broken inside somehow or something wasn't working right with it. I got the new one in just fine though, so if this doesn't work, then we're going to build a manual CTIS controller. Well, uh, waiting for the tanks to fill up. Highway light is still flashing. Once it hits about 112 or 115 PSI, the CTIS should... Uh, Air up the tires if they need air, and then the light should go solid. So like I said, if this doesn't work, we're gonna go with a manual controller. Tried to air up and then uh, all five lights flashed. Hmm. Let's try something else here. At least it tried to air up. It didn't do that before. So that's a good sign. So the mystery continues, but um, see this line here? It supplies the CTIS controller with um, um, air pressure. This line is clear. I actually sprayed it out. You can see some stuff dripping off. I sprayed it out with some uh, cleaner and I blew through it and it it's clear and the line going to the uh, quick release valves up there is clear as well but no pressure is coming out of this assembly. So I'm going to have to take it apart and see what's going on. You guys won't believe this. So you see this? The air comes in the two little holes and then it goes out the one big hole to provide air to the uh, radiator fan and the CTIS system. Well, 
my dingling self, I put it together this way. See the problem there? It's nothing's ever getting through. It's supposed to go together like this. Give me a second here. It's supposed to go together like that. So the, the little screw on the bottom has a spring that provides pressure to it so it doesn't close all the way and it provides air to those systems. What a stupid mistake on my part. Although that pressure switch was bad. So let's put this together and see if it'll work. Waiting for the wet tank to fill back up. Come on, baby. Please be fixed. Should It should do its check here any minute once that wet tank fills back up because I drained it out. Working. I heard it filling the tires. It's filling the tires. It's filling the tires. They must have been low. Come on, hold solid. Hold solid. I can hear it, it's filling the tires. I can hear it clicking. Once we hear it blow off, that's it. And then it should hold solid. must have been low because I put those little valve stems on the CTIS system and then it uh, must have let some air out of the tires when I was doing that. It's definitely doing something now. did it it's fixed I can turn the run flat mode off I just had it doing that to check the tire pressure every so often fixed it it's fixed <laughs> yeah buddy that pressure switch was the problem and then I had the washer and the um, little safety valve wrong all right I'm so glad that's working now I don't have to build some custom system for it not yet anyway Maybe next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.